We can all agree that there are more and more products and services that people are creating these days, which leaves a lot of options for people to choose from. So how do you compete in a fierce market like this? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add emotion to your brand so that you are the obvious choice for your audience to choose again and again. Hi, and welcome back. I'm Shannon Shipman, and I help creative entrepreneurs and small business owners use social media to build a community, create an impact, and increase their revenue. First, let's take a look at a couple of brands that really are nailing the emotional branding aspect. Nike. Nike is constantly outdoing themselves in their campaigns. For instance, just do it. That campaign takes elite athletes and shows how they've been injured, what's torn them down, and how they've overcome this, and they've become better athletes because of it. Just do it. It's an emotion underdog story that everybody can relate to and everybody can hop on board and cheer for. Another company that does a really good job with emotional branding is Coca-Cola. A few years ago, they came out with a campaign, Choose Happiness. This campaign featured a wide array of people and they chose joy amidst all sorts of different scenarios which simultaneously led us to be happy as well. When you start using emotional value marketing with your products, you are going so much deeper than what the product is all about. You're really tugging at the heartstrings about how you're fixing a specific problem and helping your audience and why exactly you created that product or that service to help your audience. When you're able to tap into that emotion, you're creating a connection with your audience or with your customer, and it causes them to come back and buy over and over again, and it's what sets you apart from your competitors. Any emotional trigger that your product or service creates makes your product or service more memorable. While we are logical, in theory, it has been shown in studies that we buy things based off of emotions we will logically explain to ourselves why we purchased it later, but our initial gut reaction is off of our emotions. And having this emotional marketing creates just a, a better connection with your audience, it creates a better connection with your audience and your product or your service, and it makes them feel more valued themselves in general. Think about some different emotions that you feel, happiness, sadness, joy, fear, stress. How do you feel when you're watching commercials on TV or when you're coming across reels or IGTVs when you're on Instagram? What are the things that are pulling at your heartstrings and what are the things that you're more drawn to? And then simultaneously, what exactly does your product or brand stand for? Is it a happy brand? Is it a joyful brand? Is it a brand that relieves stress from like moms not sleeping at night because their babies are constantly up? How can your brand create any kind of emotional connection with your customer or your audience? You also wanna know your target audience's pain point because their pain point is the whole reason that you created this product or this service to begin with. Do some digging, do some research, listen and read the words that your audience is using. How are they describing their pain point? What terms are they using to describe their problems? And then be able to use this terminology to help them fix it. You also want to use storytelling when it comes to emotional branding. Studies have shown that when we are hearing stories, our brains are producing all sorts of emotions. Our brains will just light up like a party. It's the dopamine, the cortisol, the oxytocin. Our brain is just having a little disco ball whenever we hear a story. It's like an emotional high. One of the strongest drives in storytelling is vulnerability. It keeps things real and it also brings your brand to become more humanized, which is a little easier to relate with than just a product. I hope you're able to walk away from this video with more ideas on how to add emotional value to your product or your service and why you'll beat out your competition every time you use an emotional contact point with your product and how that's going to help you connect with your audience on a much, much deeper level. Leave me a comment below and tell me how you hope to add emotional branding to your products or how you're already using emotional branding in your business today. And if you're not sure how exactly to go about this, if you're still not clear, drop me a comment and I'd love to get the chat going. So I am always here.